Hi there guys, welcome to Boxbread, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I just want to touch upon the fight that's upcoming between Kiko Martinez and Cal Frampton for Martinez's IBF Super Bantamweight title. Um, now this fight is happening on the 6th of September, so it's going to be next weekend now. Um, and so it's, it's coming pretty fast. Uh, it's at the Titanic Quarter in Belfast, which is obviously the stomping ground of Cal Frampton. He's going to have all the support, the crowd's going to be fully behind him. Um, and even though he is the challenger, you kind of feel like this this fight is really set up for him to take the world title. Um, it, it's just made for him. Um, you know the fact that Martinez is the champion has agreed to go to the challenger's home home yard backyard. You know it just it all smells like this was made for as Frampton's big night and and you know this is when he's going to win this world title. And why not? You know I think it's it's rightfully his anyway, really because. This is the problem with boxing. A couple of fights ago, Frampton stopped Martinez in the ninth round. You know, there, there's no question about it. He 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 won the fight by a stoppage. Yet the guy who lost still gets the world title. You know, over his you know in in the near future, and that's the problem with boxing we have at the moment is guys not getting their rightful shots, not getting what what they deserve. And I think for you know Frampton is really looking here to uh, set the record straight and and get what is rightfully his. And I think he will. You know, I think he'll stop Martinez late again, or I think he'll get the decision. Um, now, you know, Martinez is no joke. He's no mug. Uh, he is. He's been around the block. He's aggressive. He's a bull. You know, he looks to pressurize you. He looks to wear you down, and he looks to finish you. He keeps on coming. You know, you're not going to get a break with Kiko Martinez. You have to be a very good boxer to keep him away from you and to actually punish him. Um, and that's. But that's what Frampton does. You know, that's what Frampton is. Um, you know, I feel that uh, along with uh, Guillermo Rigondeau, uh, Frampton is one of the best timers in certainly in this this division, but probably one of the best timers in boxing. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, and just on a side note, the importance of timing. Timing recently won Kell Brook the world title when he defeated Sean Porter not so long ago. Um, you know. I was disappointed in Porter's performance that night. He, I thought he'd be a bit more methodical on his entries. Uh, he had more success, Porter, when he came in low. He used his size size disadvantage as an advantage in that sense. He would come, he would duck low. He would come up like Tyson, and then he had, you know, he was able to slip Kell's punches, and Kell found him more difficult to time him and to catch him when he was low. But what Porter did too often was he came in with the jab straight on. And you know, Kel was he's a very good timer and you know, he was able to catch Porter with quality shots, which is obviously what swayed the judges in the end. And you know, people watching it, if they were were saying Kel won the fight, that's what they were saying. His the, the, his shots were of better quality. You know, Porter's work was messy and Kelbrook was able to it was all down to Kelbrook being able to time him time him. Um, and that's something that Frampton does you know, amazingly well. And I think that's what will beat will beat Martinez this time as well. You know, Martinez has fought him before. Maybe he knows he might think he knows something new he can apply to this this fight. He'll certainly go to win. He won't be there to to give up his title just like that. But I think when you're up against a guy as good as Frampton, you can't. You know, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. You know, Martinez is limited, although he is aggressive and he can put Frampton under pressure. That's pretty much the only game he'll have. He's a bit one dimensional in that sense, and I think it's very too late in the day now for him to, to start changing styles and start coming up with something that's going to defeat Frampton from a pure boxing sense. you know. From, so I'm expecting Frampton to put on a timing performance. I'm expecting him to be patient as he normally is, and expecting him not to take this for granted. You know, uh, Frampton doesn't strike me as the type of guy who thinks, right, I beat this guy once so I can beat him again very easily. He will be thinking, right, I need to go in there expecting the best Kiko Martinez uh, to come to battle for his title and to come better than before. And so Frampton would have trained to be even better than before, to be on his sharp game. Um, but I think he'll be that. You know, I think he's, he feels he can't let the fans down. Um, and I think that uh, Frampton will bring the world title home to Belfast. Um, I think, he, you know, Kiko Martinez may make the fight difficult at times um, because he's fighting for his, you know, this, this is his, his world title. He's going to be fighting hard for it. You know, he's, he's going to think from the first fight, I know I maybe there's something he felt, felt felt he didn't do in the first fight, maybe he'll try and bring it to the table here. But all in all, I think that pure boxing skill and technique will will uh, come to the fore and will actually win the day for Frampton. 
Um, so, yeah, that's all I wanted to say on this fight. I think Carl Frampton wins the world title on the 6th of September. I think that uh, it's made for him, and I think that he won't disappoint. So, guys, enjoy the fights. Um, thanks for watching. This is Boxbread, and I'm out.